good everybody? It is your boy Super Saiyan Cat back with another Xenoverse 2 video for you guys today. We are going to be taking a look at Super Saiyan Blue Evolution and just showcasing how you can gain key and kind of talking about how this is probably by far, it's not even questionable, the best awoken skill in the game after this recent update. Yeah, pretty much. Really don't understand why they did some of the things that they did with it. You know, it, it by far has the most damage boost. Um, now you have a defensive boost added to it, which it didn't before. Um, you also have more of a speed boost added with this. Again, we're going to go over, over all that at the end of this video. But first and foremost, getting into how basically you can gain key with Super Saiyan Blue Evolution now after the DLC 10 update when they lessen the amount of key that is taken away for actually using that. First and foremost, of course, you are going to have to have meditation. Meditation is just an absolute must when you are running Super Saiyan God or I mean Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolved. Again, it is an absolute must. Now, the next thing that you're going to need is a Super Soul. There's one or two Super Souls that I would run. The second one, which is actually the better one I do not have. I need to get it on PS4. I have it on Xbox. I need to get it on PS4, though, when it comes back in the TP Metal Shop. And I'm going to put up on the screen for you guys when the um, Super Soul will actually come back. And the one that you're looking for is All Right Time to Sleep. That Super Soul basically puts you to sleep at the beginning of the match, but gives you key auto recovery mode for the rest of the match on. You do not have to meet any other requirements besides that, so that's why I say it is better, but you can also use this one right here. Right then, let's begin the experiment. This is Foo Super Soul, and when your health is above 75%, you get that key auto recovery mode going for you and when you combine that with meditation you will actually be gaining key in super saiyan blue evolution so let's jump into the training mode really quickly guys just to showcase how you will actually gain key through this transformation from now on so that biggest downfall the one thing that made it a little bit unattractive to most people is no longer there it is no longer an issue and it's why i honestly say that this without doubt is the most OP and probably a little bit broken Awoken skill within this game. There is no negative side effect to it at all anymore. Now, first and foremost, what we're going to do is go into meditation, guys. Get my 10 bars of key because I cannot transform, obviously, without it. And here we go, transforming. And obviously, we do have to change my key to normal. But as you guys will see right here, my key is literally going nowhere. Now, if I actually use a skill watch my key from here on out it is slowly actually going up this is absolutely insane you are in super saiyan blue evolution a transformation that gives you plus 35 percent to all attacks you get a plus 35 percent damage buff absolutely insane you get a plus 40 percent to stamina um re recovery absolutely insane you take 10 percent less damage you have multiple speed boost all this stuff this awoken skill again has no weaknesses from here on out and even if you do not choose to use a super soul we're gonna put my health in the danger area just so you guys can see without the super soul active and just meditation look how slow the key depletion is now it literally takes at least 10 seconds if not more for it to just take away a bar of key from you as opposed to before, it would be gone pretty much by this time. So again, man, there is a lot going for it. As you see, look how fast it is going now. And then once you use that meditation, the key depletion is barely any. So even if you are someone who doesn't play without limitations, if you just play with limits, you can still just barely lose any key with this transformation now, even um, without that super soul, like I said. So this update really, really made this transformation a little bit insane, in my opinion. Not only can you gain key with it, if you do have have a super soul whether it be the food super soul the all right it's time to sleep super soul and if there are any other key auto recovery super souls out there if you have one of those on then you are going to be gaining key when you combine that with meditation in this transformation so again man to me it is absolutely out of this world super saiyan blue is obsolete really all other transformations for the most part are obsolete in my opinion this is going to give you more damage you're going to be getting stamina constantly back like it's an infinite combo like that's another thing that people don't realize with super saiyan blue evolution the stamina recovery is a plus 40 percent boost that's basically like being put in to an 
an actual infinite combo. Check out the stamina recovery right here. Look, and we are in the air, guys. We are in the air right now, still getting decent um, stamina recovery, basically stamina recovery like you would normally get on the ground. And this is what you get when you are on the ground with Super Saiyan Blue. Literally got two bars of stamina back within like five seconds, ten seconds, not even. So again, this transformation without doubt honestly is a little bit broken in my opinion at this point in time they need to nerf it down a little bit in some kind of way shape or form because this right here can be match changing that you don't lose key really you can gain key your stamina uh gaining is absolutely insane your damage your speed your defense that was a major downfall of this transformation as well is that you actually took more damage when you went into super saiyan blue evolution just like you do with super saiyan blue but they decided to change that around also and make it to where you actually take less damage when you are in this transformation so again man to me this transformation there's no doubt about it the best in the game bar none nothing can even compare to it like super saiyan blue at least was viable before because you didn't lose all the key and things like that it is no longer the case super saiyan blue is basically useless at this point in time so let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments do you guys are you guys using this already for one because there are some people out there who will probably already know about this things like that and will you guys be using this if you are not at this point in time for super saiyan blue evolution and do you agree with your boy that this is probably without doubt not even comparable the best awoken skill within xenoverse 2 let me know all that down below in the comments but as always man thank you guys so much for watching really hope this video helps you guys out for anybody that you know may need this or anything like that but till next time again thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed and as always hope you have a good day peace y'all